What is up guys, it's your boy Stuken has back at it again. Today we got the What's in My Baseball Bag video. I know you guys wanted it for a while. I thought it was a good idea considering how the last video did. Wow. Did pretty good. But yeah, just like last video, I'm gonna do a little Q&A from questions you guys asked me on my Instagram and down in the comments below. But yeah guys, before that, let's get a baby cue the intro. It feels right, it feels right, yeah. I can say that it feels right. All right, guys, I'm gonna go straight into the Q&A. You guys know that little thing on the Instagram stories where you can ask questions and stuff? That's what I did. I'm gonna be like featuring those questions like right over here. So first question, what city do you play for? Um, I think he meant college, but I play for Los Angeles Valley College. It's in Valley Glen, which is right next to Studio City in North Hollywood and stuff. And I might as well give a little bit of background on me if you guys are new to the channel. I'm originally from Southern California, more specifically Burbank, right next to Hollywood and Studio City and Glendale and all that stuff. I got recruited all the way out to Arkansas Tech. I had a lot of fun times there. If you guys wanna check my old videos, I vlogged a lot while I was there. I redshirted because I broke my hammock bone and then I just transferred to LA Valley College for a couple reasons I made a video about that as well that you guys should check out if you guys want to see the more specific reasons why I left but yeah now I'm balling out at LA Valley College right now we're in season so I'm wearing the LA Valley jersey just repping it in the hat too and so yeah let's get to the next question a hey, favorite youtuber right here and as you guys can see that's my sister Elisa shout out to her she's always trying to get on the vlogs who's your favorite active player in the MLB it's got to be Joey Votto and your boy Bryce Harper I've been following Bryce Harper like his whole career honestly you either love him or hate him but yeah I got the little Bryce Harper case that just came in but yeah Joey Votto is also my favorite player too. That dude is just a beast and he plays on my favorite team, the Cincinnati Reds. Weirdest fielder dugout you've played on. I played on a lot of weird fields in my days, man. Probably one of the most interesting fields is the field that's in Oxnard. I played over there in a summer ball game. It's the field that they filmed the League of Their Own on with like Tom Hanks and stuff. There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Why don't you leave her alone, Jimmy? Oh, you zip it, Doris. I don't know. It just stands out in my head because I remember it was like 115 degrees oh. when we played there. And it was like a sandbox. And then it's just like a huge, like Wrigley-esque field with like the Ivy and outfield. And then we got to go in the locker room too, which is cool because that's like where they filmed everything. Yo, they opened up the clubhouse because it is 100 degrees. Yo. <laughs> Look. This is, this is from a league of our own. Yeah, probably that, or there was this one field in Compton, which like the dugout was just like, it was very bad. I also had a summer ball game in there too. Oh, oh, oh. So yeah, check out those videos. We almost got in a brawl in that game, so yeah, check that out. When does your season go until? I'm gonna look that up right now, I actually do not know. So our last regular season game is Friday, April 26th at West LA College. You guys wanna check us out, you wanna check me out? West LA at 2.30. I got the whole schedule online, so you guys can check that out. Uh, just look up LA Valley College baseball schedule. Make sure to say what's up at the games if you guys if you guys go to support or you guys go to see me or something. I've like met a lot of you guys and it's pretty cool. Always dope when I see fans in the stands and stuff. But yeah, next question. How much work do you put in a day? How much describe my typical day as like a college baseball player. So yeah, basically the first class of the day is at 9.40. I usually try to wake up around seven or maybe six or something. Why you always lying? Depending on what I gotta do. Sometimes I like to run to the gym. There's a gym not that far. And then I also have weights in my backyard. So sometimes I like to work out in the morning. It depends how I'm feeling, honestly. So after that, make sure I eat, shower, all that stuff. As of now, I do not have a car. So I gotta get a ride from one of my boys. Sage, Alec, and Thomas always got me. Or sometimes I Uber if I don't feel like asking them. And then yeah, so I got class at 9.40. Then usually I have another class class we got weights at 12:50, and then practice right after and then usually get home around like 5 or 5 30 and then try to prevent myself from falling asleep and make sure i eat go to the gym and then edit or do homework or something and then i'm tired man by that time it's like 11 yeah so i try to put in as much work as i can it's tough fitting in extra time as a student athlete but if you want to be great that's what you got to do man you got to try and put in that work so you can separate yourself from everybody else but hopefully that answers that question what's the one tip you could give to a high school freshman playing baseball start lifting weights that's what separated me when i was in high school going into my freshman year of high High school I started lifting like, I could barely bench the bar and stuff I just got progressively better and better and by the time I was a senior I was like I was pretty strong and then I was seen as like a physical dude like where I could hit home runs and stuff even though I'm not even that tall I'm like 5'8 five, 5'9 five, so yeah start lifting weights and then put in work on the tee start learning about swing sequencing yeah you just got to do your own research and then set up a little plan for yourself that's my advice for freshmen what do you film with I film with the Sony I always forget if it's Canon or Sony Sony HX80 I'm gonna start putting in the description because I get that comment a lot if you had to pick would you rather punch a cactus or kick a fire hydrant it's kind of an odd question but for sure i'd rather 
punch a cactus. Because, dude, you could punch a cactus, and I can do it with my left hand too, so I don't have to injure my throwing hand. I'd get like spikes drilled into my hand, but I feel like that's better. Like, you could like tear them out rather than breaking your foot, you know? Breaking your foot sucks. I've never broken my foot, but I've stubbed my toe before. Sort of know how that feels. Punching with the lefty hand's the way to go. What was the average VLO pitcher in the Arkansas Conference? So, when I was at Arkansas Tech, I was in the GAC. It's Division two, but guys, like, Division two is no joke, man. Like, a lot of it's players that just didn't get recruited to D1s. We had a couple guys on our team that threw 90 plus. So, so I'd say the average pitcher is probably like 86, 87. The average Friday night starter is at least 88, and they could get up there to like 95, man. Like we saw some crazy relief pitchers from SAU, some Dallas Baptist bounce backs. Two guys were throwing 97. It was crazy. The GIC is a good D2 conference too, so I can't speak for all the Division II conferences. So when are you coming out with merch? I don't know, guys. Like it's against the NCAA rules, but technically I'm not in the NCAA. I'm in JUCO right now, so I don't know. You guys want merch? Comment down below. We'll see. We'll see. When did you start playing baseball? My dad got me to start playing baseball like as soon as I could pick up a little toy bat, man. Probably T-ball was around like four. I'm not sure. Yeah, I've always been playing baseball. Shout out to my dad for leading me on a good path. How can I start hitting better? Really just practice all the time, man. I don't want to say I practice blindly, like practice good reps. Like you don't want to practice your terrible swing multiple times and it'll just become really good at being terrible. You know what I mean? You got to learn the correct way to swing or the correct way to throw and then practice it like a ton and then you'll get better and better over time. And another way to get better mentally is my coach has been telling me to listen to Steve Springer. He actually has an insanely good podcast for ball players. Shout out to Steve Springer. I don't even know you, but it's a little free shout out. He has a podcast on iTunes, wherever you listen to podcasts. I'm sure he's there. It's just about like the mental game and, and all that stuff and like how to get better with your approach and everything. I don't know. It's helped me. So hopefully it could help you. I'm nine years old and I could hit the ball 9,000 feet. Is that good? Throw back to last year's video. Somebody asked a question similar to that. It's classic. What's your workout routine before and after games? I try to lift after games. Nothing in specific. Like I've written myself a program based off of, based off of Dr. Heenan's stuff. He's a good person on Instagram to follow. You guys should check him out. He has a lot of stuff on how to throw harder and get faster and everything, how to improve. I've been in chats with him and all that stuff. And so yeah, after games, I try to lift because I generally don't have back-to-back -back games. So if I'm sore the next day, it's an off day and it's just practice. So like, it's not that bad. Generally just stay and try to lift heavy so I don't lose any of my strength or anything during in season. So yeah, hopefully I answer that question. Did you have to work really hard for what you have or are you just born to play baseball? Dude, I mean, you gotta work hard in anything you do to become good at it. I guess like there are some exceptions like where you see people seem to just come out of the womb throwing 90 plus. But yeah, I wasn't one of those guys, man. I had to work for everything I have. I wasn't really born with any huge disadvantages or anything, but I was born with a good work ethic. Honestly, I feel like that's all you need to become a good baseball player. You just gotta wanna put in the work and then you'll find ways to get better. All right, next question. What's your major? Uh, right now my major is communication speech. It used to be kinesiology, but I switched it over to communications because it's more related to YouTube and kind of all that stuff. Yeah, it just benefits me more with what I plan to do. Are you ever gonna be in New York? No, I don't think I'm gonna be in New York soon, but I will be in Boston helping my brother move out of his dorm at the beginning of May. So if you guys would like want to do a meetup out there for all you new England kids or any of you guys over there, let me know like on my Instagram or down in the comments and we could like work something out. I feel like that'd be dope. Next question. Craziest dorm story. Yeah, it's a little too crazy for YouTube, man. Back at university, a little too crazy for the vlog. How do you get scouted? This is kind of a complex question to answer as simply as possible. Get tools, video yourself with those tools. So like make a recruiting video. You can check back to one of my earlier videos on the channel and my recruiting videos there. That helps me get recruited. I also did really well at a showcase and then I emailed my video and the showcase to a bunch of schools that I thought needed outfielders that could use me. And so that's pretty much how I got recruited to Arkansas Tech. If you guys want me to go into more detailed story how exactly my recruiting process went, let me know down in the comments. That could be a future video. Hardest thing about college, probably time management. My classes right now are like a little bit easier because I tailored them that way because of baseball season. Yeah, you just gotta be smart about it. You have a paper due the next day. You probably shouldn't do it the day before, even though I'm guilty of doing that sometimes. You gotta try to manage your time the best you can. What's your favorite ice cream? I'm a cookies and cream guy. I also like Rambo Sherbert. So yeah. Did you play varsity all four years of high school? My freshman year, I was at like a bigger school. So I played freshman ball and then I started to practice with varsity and then I ended up transferring to Providence High School. Shout out Providence. And then I played the rest of my three years on varsity and stuff and then balled out there and everything. All right guys, now the meat and the potatoes of the video. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my baseball bag. All right, so we got these bags for LA Valley College, but I've elected not really to use it. Right now I actually have the same bag as like last year. I've been using this bag and yeah, I don't know. So I'm, I'm gonna just go straight to it. All right guys, so I actually have a lot of gloves. So first glove is the Marucci glove. Yeah, it's a little worn down now, man. The pocket started to like die out. I haven't really been using it in games. As you can see, it's like pretty much a pancake now. I've been letting my boy Gideon use it. And then so I ended up buying a new glove off of eBay. As you can see right here, it's like the sickest glove ever. It's a Nike Vapor 360. Yeah, they don't even sell it anymore. So I had to get it on eBay. It came like preformed and stuff. Once again, the pocket isn't really like amazing yet. So yeah, I've been playing catch with it as much as I could. But yeah, the ball is like kind of come out sometimes. So I was like, so I don't really trust it yet for games. My boy DeAndre has been letting me use 
his A2000. It's the Guante. This glove is sick. Any ball gets in the vicinity of this glove, it just goes straight to the pocket. Shout out DeAndre Carter. I'm gonna list his Instagram down in the description for letting me use this glove. And yeah, so these are the gloves I've been using. I got my GoPro stuff. Yeah, guys, in future videos, I started to use the GoPro a little bit. Be psyched for that. Like BP and everything. I have my game day pants in here. Some of you guys have been asking like where I got these. These are the mids right here, the scrunchy mids. They're like super tight too. I like that little 90s style baseball uniform, like Derek Jeter and Hank Griffey back in the day. So yeah, if you guys want that link, I'll put it down below. I got a workout towel that I always have, especially when you're going all out in the field and you get crazy sweaty and everything. What else do I have? Got my sliding shorts. These are inside out right now. Nike Pro Combat, standard sliding shorts. These are dope. My boy AK let me borrow his uh, little cheat code stirrups. They're made for mids. So if you're not wearing your pants all the way up, just shows the little line, which is sick without wearing the actual stirrups. It's like a little cheat code. So you gotta wear the white sock and then you gotta wear that on top. Got sunscreen, sunscreen. Got a lot of sunscreen. I'm not trying to get a crazy farmer's tan. And then let's get into the batting gloves. Got the Easton green and white batting gloves. These are sick. They smell really bad. These are my old Adidas batting gloves. As you can tell, they're all jacked up. Tried putting it in the washer like a while ago. And yeah, don't do that, man, because like totally screws them up. Can't use them anymore. I don't really use these anymore, but these are my, uh, my cutter batting gloves. Shout out to Kyle Gibbs for giving them to me. I use these a lot. These are my Evo Shield batting gloves. I use these batting gloves a lot, mostly on away trips. The gray and the green, they're sick. Evo Shield, pretty good quality. One of the best quality that I've used. These are my current batting gloves that I've been using. All white Marucci. They look fresh with whatever uniform you're wearing. Honestly, you could wear them on the road as well. Those are for my batting gloves. I have a lot of batting gloves. Got some double bubble gum. Yeah, these are essential. Got more sunscreen. You never have too much sunscreen, I guess. I don't know. I got a bunch of sleeves. Shout out customsleeves.com. It's a website where you can put like your custom number on it. So I have this gray one, the black number. So that's sick. I used to be number four. I'm 44 this season. Got this one, the green and yellow. I got the fight in all green one. You guys remember when fight in was like all popular and like power balance and all that stuff? Yeah, those were the days. I also got my black sleeve. I wear this all the time, black and green. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the sleeve. I have a white one and I got a Vegas gold one too. They're pretty cheap. I think they're like 12 bucks. Don't be thinking I'm like rich or something. Then I got the sunglasses case. These are some of my lenses right here. I got these on eBay. I got Oakley M frames. I've been liking these lenses, so I've been sticking to them lately. But I also have these lenses as well. These are sick. I have an all blue pair. I don't know if you can see that lighting. But yeah, I got those on eBay. I also have the original OG all black pair. I'm a big sunglasses guy. And I also bought myself some gargoyles. These are sick. These are the flip up glasses that you're seeing like more and more major league baseball players wear. They look kind of lame like this. They look all big and clunky, but then you can flip them up. Wow. That's what I think is awesome, man. Like, you're just chilling, just taking BP, all this stuff. And when it's time to catch a fly ball, just flip them down. These were like 70 to 80 bucks. They're like average if you're getting sunglasses and stuff. Typically, they run to like 100 and like more. So yeah, these are one of my all-time favorites. These are sick. So yeah, that's it for the sunglasses. Oh, uh, got an undershirt in here. I gotta watch that. Got the random tennis balls in here. I got a softball for my glove. That I usually put with rubber bands and everything. Got a random baseball. Got a sand can right here for like warming up the arm. We used to use those in Arkansas Tech. Got an extra belt for the homies, you know, that forget a belt the field r.i.p yeah guys never be that guy that forgets a belt but if you are i got you what else i got an extra towel this needs to be washed got a little hand gripper yeah that's it for the main pocket all right guys here are the sickest cleats ever these are the adidas all green cleats that i always wear you can see me wearing them on my instagram i'll put a picture like right there yeah guys i'm not really sure what they're called i got them like three years ago in high school i never really wore them last year because we had team cleats at arkansas tech but yeah now i'm wearing them this year because these are sick and they totally match my school also so it just works out i might as well show you my bats as well here we go all right guys so the main bat i I use during my games is the Marucci Cat 7 Connect. You guys are probably wondering like, what the heck is this part? In BP, one time, like I was just swinging and stuff, it just popped right off. I'm like, what? Yeah, that's actually right here. This thing just fell off. This is blue lizard skin. And yeah, it's been doing the job as of late. And yeah, I've had it for like about two years now. Probably one of my all time favorites. And then this is the old reliable wooden bat, it's bamboo. I've been using this for as long as I can remember. I use it a lot in BP, in my backyard, and my cage and stuff. If you guys didn't know, bamboo bats like never break. I'm probably gonna use this a lot in summer ball because I broke like a lot of my bats and then this is the beauty right here this is the custom marucci eskinez model it's a rizzo bat we got the gold and the green mainly for arkansas tech but now it's for la valley i use this bat in practice a lot but yeah guys that's probably going to be the end of the video today i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to ask me more questions follow me on my instagram that's where it's at i'm still trying to get updated with these vlogs and sending them all out to youtube for you guys but yeah guys that's gonna be the end of the video today shout out to charles for getting the top comment on the last video yeah bro the channel is growing man super hyped for all of you guys and this whole community for the channel and everything yeah i'm nothing without you guys so keep on sending and support my way yeah it really helps me get through editing and all that stuff and also here's a little fan submission hey sub to my boy steve kines if you guys want to get featured on the video type a comment down below make sure you guys upvote comment so i'm gonna feature this video's top comment in the next video also follow me on instagram or snapchat and send me a video of yourself saying subscribe to steven kines and i'll feature that in the next video as well so yeah guys this channel's going up man be a part of the movement press subscribe down below make sure to like the video and yeah guys that's gonna be the end of the video peace